The revamping of Somaliland's Berbera port is expected to be instrumental in increasing the volume of trade in the Horn of Africa. They had to handle the projected increase in volume. The construction of the Berbera corridor has kicked off late last week. Our regional reporter Trick Singado caught up with port officials at the Berbera port and filed the following report. For any nation to trade sufficiently, a proper gateway must be established. This is what ports are to countries with robust sea lines. For years, Somaliland's Berbera port has served this very function. But as trade ambitions grow amongst Somaliland and her partners, it has become apparent that the port of Berbera is not sufficient in its current state. Officials explain to us what the future holds for the port as stakeholders roll the dice. Uh, we are expecting to be able, once the expansion is ready, to have the possibility to berth the biggest vessels which are now onto the sea. I'm talking about uh, vessels like 20,000, 20, 22,000 TUs capacity. So the port will be ready to accommodate those vessels. The, the depth alongside will reach 18 meters and um, we will have the, the possibility to operate all the vessels which are coming and they are on the sea currently. The, the main uh, challenge which we are facing is that we are still working to discharge to operate the containers from and to vessels with the ship cranes, which is uh, an operation quite um, challenging from, from all the perspectives. So this is uh, before we are starting the new, new to increase the new capacity, we are adding some more uh, mobile harbor cranes which will increase the, the, our capacity of handling containers into very near, near future. Current uh, are under commissioning and that will be ready to be operational sometime by end of this uh, of March the, uh, of this month. Yeah. We're currently at the Berbera Port City and this is the Berbera Port, the current center of focus of economic efforts of the Somaliland government. Now on my right is the Red Sea and what you're seeing behind me is a 160 meter length ship, one of the big ships that come here every now and then to drop off cargo. Now once the revamping happens, we're going to have even bigger ships able to dock here and of course a larger amount of containers being dropped off a 400 meter ship is the biggest kind of ship but right now the current ship right here is what this port can handle the revamping is also geared towards creating employment for locals as well as imparting much needed skills for each and every employees which is working for us we are providing them the, the needed training we are providing them uh, specialized training to be able to handle the equipment for which he is assigned to work or for the position where he is assigned to work. There are uh, a lot of uh, benefits out of this because the people here, they, have a, uh, they are able to learn very fast. They are very happy with the progresses which has happened during, uh, during the training. At the moment, the UAE and Ethiopia are the biggest stakeholders. Ethiopia is particularly eyeing this port as a recently launched Berbera corridor will connect the port to the Wajela region of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is the biggest trading partner for Somaliland and probably maybe for Ethiopia. Even for Ethiopia, if we are not the first, maybe we are the second and if not the second, maybe the third trading partner for Ethiopia. It goes both ways. Uh, the trade mainly consists of uh, of livestock. You know, there's also the cut, the cut uh, trade between the two countries, and uh, food products and commodities between the two countries, re-export of manufactured goods as well, and food. And um, I think the total vol value uh, between the, of, of trade between the two countries can be perhaps between seven between 500 and 700 million US dollars a year. Yeah. Um, the, the last question is uh, a bit uh, away from uh, Barbara and they are improving, developing the board there and there will be too much you know expected in you know, that the traffic movement will be too much more the existing road no way can uh, can take all these loads and these uh, huge uh, trailers and uh, traffic so this road will be uh, it will be uh, i mean it will help too much for the movement of the i mean the trading and everything from uh, barbara uh, i mean in or in general in between somaliland and uh, ethiopia plus also you know between hargeisa and barbara also it is a very very good demand for that one 
Berbera, if I may say, is a traditionally and very old and open port for trading. Uh, it's also positioned on Horn of Africa, which is uh, close to the all major uh, shipping routes of the world. Uh, we, I believe that the, his this position is very strategical and it's offering a lot of benefits for everybody which is uh, involved on uh, on making the port being a ba much better. Um, place for everybody to work and uh, to serve the communities around us. When thinking about Africa's major ports, the ports of Mombasa, Durban, Dar es Salaam, Vieira, just to name a few, come to mind. Their functionality have turned their regions into commercial hubs that have attracted the world's business. The obvious goal for Somaliland is to achieve this, but this would have to come with amicability with regional countries, including neighboring Somalia.